This is part three of the invertebrate lectures. Um, we left off, um, well, I'm going to go back one slide if I can. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, the slide before this one um, was the phylum nematoda, um, or the uh, otherwise known as the roundworm. And I also told you that those were ecdysozoans, and that means that they shed their exoskeleton. So um, actually, they're, they, they shed their cuticle periodically. So arthropods are also in that group, ecdysozoans. And I just wanted to make sure that I said that. Um, but what the arthropods all have in common, there are several different classes that we're going to go over but they all have jointed appendages. Um, this horseshoe crab has a cephalothorax. Some of the um, arthropods have a head and a thorax that are separate, but some have a head and a thorax together. Um, the thorax is like the chest region. So a cephalothorax is a head and a chest all together as one segment. The hexapoda, hex means six. That's the number, um, a hexagon has six sides. So um, the insects have six legs. And so the hexapoda is the subphylum insecta. And um, so let's look at, this is a, um, let's see a B. Um, definitely has a complete digestive system, mouth and anus. Um, the nerve cord is a ventral nerve cord. It's got a um, cerebral ganglia, so a primitive brain. Ventral nerve cord running along the, um, the uh, underside or stomach side, I guess you could say, and um, three body segments, a head separate from the thorax, and then an abdomen. Um, a crop for grinding spiracles, which are openings for the trachea, so a, a more advanced respiratory system, and then um, a dorsal blood vessel, which has um, several hearts. So each one of these kind of um, swellings in the blood vessel is, is actually a pumping um, miniature heart. Um, okay, so the myriapoda, subphylum myriapoda, are the millipedes. And the way that you know it's a millipede is if you look at the body segment, if it's got pairs of legs, like two pairs of legs per segment. So this will be two and this will be two on the same segment. And then here you have two here and two here on the next segment. Um, sorry, it's hard to it's hard to see the next segment. Um, but anyway, but definitely you can see that here. It's two sets of legs, two sets of legs. Um, so, two sets, you know. So, um, anyway, millipedes have two sets of legs and centipedes have only one. The subphylum crustacea, the crustaceans are going to be shrimp and crab and lobster and um, you may call them crawdads or craw crayfish. Um, this is a crayfish or a crawdad. Um, the crustaceans have um, an exoskeleton and they have a carapace and um, they have a one heart. And again, like I say, um, for the crustaceans, that includes the shrimp, crab, um, lobster. crayfish or crawdads. These are all crustaceans. 
Um, oh, and another crustacean that we have in lab is a barnacle. And a lot of people don't realize that barnacles are actually crustaceans. The barnacles that grow attached to um, boats that stay, in, you know, st um, re remain in the water for a long time um, and attached to um, the fishing piers and things like that. So arthropod appendages, they may have a biramus or two branched appendages, or they may have one branched append appendages. This is an insect leg, which has one branch, and this is the leg of a crayfish, which has two branches. In crustaceans, these are uh, images of larval, larval stages in crustaceans. This is the larva of a green crab. This is the larva of a barnacle. So there you go, example I just gave you. This is the larva of a shrimp. And the subphylum Chelicerata includes um, they're, the chelicerates have fang or claw-like mouth parts. So this is a scorpion. Spiders are also in the chelicerata. Ticks and mites. Um, and now we're moving on to the last invertebrate phylum, and that's the phylum Echinodermata. The echino means spiny, derm means skin. So the echinoderms are spiny skin. Um, this is a sea star, and um, one thing that, about the sea star is that it has a water vascular system. We will be dissecting a sea star. There's actually a video um, showing a sea star dissection that I've attached to our Moodle page. Um, so basically the water vascular system, water enters through a, a little stone-like structure, although it uh, looks like a stone, it's got pores in it. So water enters through there and then it enters the stone canal and then the ring canal and then the radial canal and then from the radial canal, the water enters into the tube feet, all these tube feet that are along here. And um, when the tube feet fill with water, it acts as, um, it's almost like a skeleton. It, it, um, that, that enables them to move. It enable, enables them to move, uh, move across the surface, you know, with their tube, tube feet, sorry. Um, every arm has digestive glands. And um, you can also can find gonads in the, the arms or the rays. The um, mouth is on the underside. The anus is right here. The stomach is ejected out of the mouth and it surrounds the, um, the prey and digests the prey. And then the, stum stum the stomach is pulled back into the sea star's body. Um, quick review. What are the common characteristics of the phylum porifera? No tissues. Um, what are the common characteristics of the phylum night and filter feeders? Sorry, I should put more than one thing. Filter feeders, common characteristics of the phylum nidaria is that they have stinging cells called nidocytes. They only have two tissue layers. The common characteristics of the super phylum Lophotrochozoa. I'm glad that came up because I think that is something I did not go over with you. The protostomes, I know we've talked about the protostomes, are divided the protostomes are divided into the lophotrochozoans and the ecdysozoans. The lophotrochozoans do not shed their um, exoskeletons or cuticles periodically. So the mollusk would be Lophotrochozoans. The annelids would be Lophotrochozoans. And 
and let's go back to you, sorry. I didn't mean to do that from current slide. <sighs> okay, um, let's do the questions. Um, the common characteristics of the superphylum locotrochozoans, uh, they are protostomes. They have um, lophotrochus uh, pores, or they have a structure um, in common called a lophotrocha pore. It's hard to say. But anyway, they're, they're just the ones of the protostomes that um, do not shed their exoskeleton or their cuticle. And the ecdysozoans are protostomes that do shed their cuticle or their, um, their exoskeleton. And the deuterostomes, the mouth forms second, the anus forms first. So deuterostome means second mouth. And the kinoderms are deuterostomes along with corda uh, the chordata.